the first big technical change that I'd like to talk to you about, and that's why I thought I'd do this video, is about the position of your shoulders. So what a lot of players do, when they get down on the shot, you should be able to see here, they get down on the shot, and can you see that this right shoulder here, my right shoulder, is visible. You can see that right shoulder, and then it means I'm cueing, and my cue is a little bit underneath my chest. So it's almost like my chest is like that, and my cue is underneath the chest a little bit like that. That's because what players are doing is um, they're not rotating the shoulders very much. So if this is my two shoulders like this, your shoulders are not rotated very much. <clears throat> but what we try and do as snooker players is really get a nice rotation in those shoulders. So you're trying to pull the right shoulder back behind the other one and then get the left shoulder tucked in so that the cue is running against the side of your chest, keeping it in a nice straight line. So if I was to show you here the two ways, so if I was to get down without really doing that, you can see that you can see my right shoulder, it's very visible. Now, if I try and do that rotation just to show you there, so now you should see that my shoulder has disappeared and that I've got everything nicely in line. So when I'm doing that, I'm getting a nice twist there as I get down, everything's nicely in line, and I've now got the cue against the side of my chest and it's a really good guide for keeping the cue online. Now, when you first try and do that, it does feel quite strange for players to do it because when they're not used to doing that bit of a twist as they get down, it can feel a little bit awkward and a little, awkward and a little bit unusual. But it's a good change to make because as you can see from the two different styles there, so if I don't do it, you see my shoulder and my, my hand is right next to my hip, whereas when I get my shoulders rotated, I've got the cue against my chest, everything's tucked in, everything's nice and neat, and it means that I've got a nice guide for keeping the cue in a straight line. So the way you do that, the way to think about it, is when I'm playing the shot, I don't want my body to just go down flat. So if this is me standing upright, and this is my chest here that's facing the camera here, so I don't want my chest to just be going down flat onto the shot. I want to almost try and rotate the body so that my chest is facing away over there. So a good way of thinking about this here is I form my stance, so I walk into the shot, then I'm going to turn, drop this hip a little bit, so my right hip, you can see I'm going to drop that hip slightly, and then what I'm starting to do is get my chest to face away from the shot here, so my chest is actually facing up towards the bulk end of the table that you can see here, so it's facing up in this direction, but then I'm going to keep my chest in that position and then have my cue running across like that so that I've got everything nicely in line and it's a good, a nice guide for keeping everything absolutely perfect. When I first tried to start doing that, it felt very strange to me to do it. Um, it felt like, you know, you're deliberately twisting your body and it feels a bit uncomfortable. So a good thing to think about when I'm trying to do that is you don't have to aim for 100% perfection straight away. You can try to uh, work on that slowly. So the more you think about when you get down, just having that little bit of a rotation as you get down to the shot, the more you'll start to do it gradually and the better you'll get at it. So don't try and perfect it straight away. None of us, when we're working on technique and trying to get better at things, perfect things straight away. We just become conscious of something and we just work on it over time and get better and better at doing it. So you'll get a better idea of what I'm trying to say here. So if I walk into this one and I just do a normal stance here, I'm, I'm not leaning my leg over much. So what I try and do here is walk in, get that rotation in my hip and get everything nicely in line. So you can see that my heel of my right foot goes on line, left foot shoulder width apart, then get my hip rotated so that I'm out the way a bit, get the chest pointing away from the shot, get down to the shot, and that keeps everything nicely in line then. That's my textbook setup on the shot there. And I've got my chest contact right against my chest here so that the cue is staying on line. So, as I always say, I really hope you found this video useful. Remember that if anyone's interested in any personal one-to-one -one training sessions, I'm working on this table helping players to improve their game all the time. 
So if you look in the description, you'll find my website, my contact details, feel free to get in touch and I'd love to help you with your game. As always, if you did enjoy the video, remember to give it a like. If you're new to the channel and you haven't already subscribed, please consider subscribing. That just really helps me to keep all this content coming. And as always, I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.